Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Batsy Mary. If you're new here, if you're a returning subscriber, hello, welcome back. And let's just jump right into today's video. Alright guys, um, I know I've been gone for like about two, three weeks. <laughs> I just needed a break from social media and I also had exams to prepare for. So I wasn't able to film whilst I was within exams. But I'm back and I'm better and I've got planned content that I want you guys to be ready for. But you guys have been asking me, I have had a number of people asking me personally but how I did this and how I did that so today I'll be answering all your questions and let's jump right into the video in today's video I'll be talking about how I as a small content creator I'm able to get paid partnerships or PR packages from different companies based in South Africa and internationally and how I'm able to keep getting such. If you're interested in this topic, make sure to give a big thumbs up, comment down below which companies you'd like to work with and share the video to people you might think this is relevant to. It can be people on Instagram, it can be people on YouTube, it can be people on TikTok because we all want to work with brands on all those platforms. So let's jump right into the tip. When you're a YouTuber or when you're a content creator, it is very exciting when you're able to pitch to brands and get PR packages for free or get paid partnerships because it then says that you've kind of made it in the faculty or in the field of content creating. And it's exciting to get free stuff or get things paid for for doing stuff that you like to do, which is creating content. And I myself got very excited when I was able to pitch in and get my first brand paid partnership and my first PR package for free. And I was like really excited, but some of of you smaller youtubers or smaller content creators than myself at the moment like how do i get to get brands to notice me number one how do i get to pitch into brands and get them to actually send me pr packages for free and you know do stuff that i like because it's difficult because if you're a small creator it's kind of hard to get noticed by companies so i'm going to be giving you some tips that helped me and how i was able to get paid partnerships and pr packages for free with brands that I've worked with previously and I'm working with right now using the tips that I got. So let's get into it. So if I'm looking at my phone, it's because I've got my notes on there and I don't want to leave any tip out for you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to mention is things that brands are looking for on your social media pages. So the first tip is read the top three things that brands look for on your pages. So the first is parallel. Okay, that's a hard word to say. Parallel. The number two is community and number three is experience. Parallel. <laughs> Why is that a hard word to say? But anyways, what you and the brand have in common. So what I mean here is what you are going to be pitching to the brand or whichever company you're hitting up should have something in common with them. So the content that you're already producing on your platforms should go in line with what the companies are looking for. For example, if you're going to be doing something with aesthetic glosses, drinking glosses or whatever, you should be making content that goes in line with that. So for example, making coffee or making juices or drinking water aesthetically, you should be already producing content with glosses before you go and reach out to the brand. So what I would do is start doing content with what I want to be in line with or with the companies I'd like to work with so that it'll be easier for them to notice me or for me when I pitch to them and they look through my social media pages they see that oh this girl does stuff with glosses so it's okay for us to give her the products because she already works with them. You should produce content that is in line with what the brand does. The second thing is community. What do I mean? by community. When I'm talking about community, I'm talking about your community on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter, any social media platforms that you want to work with the brand. Um, so this means if you have a loyal community, that means do you have people that support you? Do you have people that share your reels, for example, that share your videos, that share your posts on Instagram, on TikTok? Do you have people that like? Do you have people that save your content? Do you have people that comment on your content? And how you interact with this community? Do you like their comments? Do you respond to their comments? Do you share their comments? Do you engage with them in a way that they feel comfortable. Companies and brands would like to have people that interact with their people, but it's easier for their people to engage with what the brand sells. So if you, for example, like I said, the glosses um, example, if your audience likes to see 
content with the glasses will obviously comment share and like and save the content so that they can use it later so if you make coffee in the glasses why doesn't your 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 audience will obviously engage with that because they would want to know how to make coffee it makes them like comment share and obviously save the content so your engagement with your audience helps a lot with letting the brands know that okay she actually does this and this and this or he actually does this and this and this which engages with his community and builds the community and then let's once we start working with this person their their community will start buying our stuff so brands will want people to you know work with you know that their community will be able to buy their products my next tip is on experience what i mean by experience is are you good at creating content this means in your content before you got partnerships or brand deals were you able to create quality content so this means your experience in creating content on your page do you have content that's of quality do you have content that the brand would like to you know use on their own personal pages or share on their own personal pages is it content that people can relate to that excites people People that brings engagement so this does not mean like experience with past brands that you've worked with no even if you've had if you have not worked with brands and your Instagram page or your YouTube shows that you have quality content which will produce the audience to then buy the product this then gives the brand an opportunity to see that hey okay they produce quality content and obviously their fan base their support base would then buy from us because of their quality so if you have good quality content some um, brands would then want to work with you so make sure to have quality content before you start working with brands when you work with brands and when other brands want to see your page you have good quality content because that's what matters content over quantity so qq i think that's it yeah good quality content over you know quantity over the people that you, you might have. be saying that okay i've got 1000 followers on instagram and i've got 1500 subscribers on my youtube channel and i really don't think that you know brands would want to work with me okay so i understand that because that's what i thought when i was in that position and before i started pitching into brands and before companies started looking for me i thought that i've got a low number of subscribers i've got low followers on instagram no one would want to work with me but the advantage of having a lower platform or having less than 10,000 followers is that your engagement will be very real because the less people you have, the more interactive it is normally before you get on with bigger um, a following and bigger subscribers and all. So with your 1,000 people, you should have great interactions with them because that means they are more loyal and they are more supportive. Whereas when you grow, you have a bigger range of people and maybe from your 10,000 people, you have 1,000 and people engage so don't worry about the number of people that you have on your accounts just make sure that you have great interaction with them great engagement and you know pure and genuine followers that will actually support the brands that you're working with so just be sure to have an interactive page of on your social media pages so when you're working with brands i just have a tip that when brands hit you up and say they're not looking for people to work with or if they don't even answer your emails or anything don't worry because there's so many companies in the world that would actually want to work with you and not every pitch that you give will be successful and i can tell you that some brands that i hit up in 2020 have not gotten back to me at all or some maybe got back to me like a year later and all of that stuff so it's a work in progress journey and not everything will just work out from the get-go you have to build experience and all of that stuff so don't be discouraged when they don't like reply to you it will eventually work out in the end talking about sponsors today's video is sponsored by alia this is alia so alia is an eyewear brand that provides top quality eyewear glosses at an affordable price and they have either prescription glosses or sun glosses like i have on today because i mean i don't need prescription glosses and i was gifted two glosses in this video i'm sure you've seen them in my previous videos i was gifted two in this video and i will be showing you them at an upper closer range which is like um excuse me this is giving off rich auntie you know cute auntie vibes and i love it so 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 much because i mean i look cute i look cool and classy at the same time and i also got this second pair which is the 
Hara Cat Eye in other words in white and I love these because every single influencer that I've seen that I like had this pair and I was like excuse me these look so cute and cool and they'll look cute in outfits that I will rock and so I got myself a pair because I was like I need to be part of this train no matter what <laughs> so I got this set too what I like about them is it comes in this black bag for your to hold your glasses in and to make sure that they secure and it comes with this um wiping cloth which then has the company name on it to wipe your sunnies with and to make sure that they're always clean make sure to use my links in the description box down below get yourself some sunnies because i mean we content creators we need to look cool and cute when we're doing paid sponsors and pr packages so make sure to use the links in my description box to get yourself a pair today and thank you once again to alia for sponsoring today's video so let's get into the tips on how to pitch an email for the company. Okay, so the first thing that I would do when I'm talking to a company is basically introduce myself, say what I do, where I do, and all of that stuff. So the email would go like something like, hey, my name is Batsy. I'm a YouTuber based in South Africa. On my channel, I create content based on, for example, I do Christianity, lifestyle, and daily vlogs, and anything aesthetic. And then after that, you then if you have been a customer of this company you then say i've been a customer for so and so many years and i really love the products that you produce because it's quality and it expresses or embraces myself and it's unique to me or if you're just looking at it you'd be like oh i've been looking at your page for this this and this amount of time and it's drawn me closer because i like the products that you produce one two three one two three and then after that you can say that I come back to your website every summer or every winter or every autumn, whatever season it is, to buy, for example, if you're buying bath products, you'd be like to buy new bath products, for example, soaps or bath wash or whatever. And I absolutely love the smell and it's my absolute favorite thing to use when I'm bathing because it's soft on my body, it takes off all the dirt, all of that stuff. So you just basically make it, you know, lavish and to make sure that the company feels like, okay, this person actually uses our product and you will be able to give a proper response or proper feedback to their um, crowds. And then you'd be like, with the summer season approaching, I saw that you had a new campaign on your pages and I would love to be part of this campaign if you have any space for me. It'd be a great opportunity to work together because I've been a loyal customer and I feel like this is something that goes with is aligned with what I create on my channel or on my pages and then um, I would absolutely love to support your company by creating self-care routine video using your new bath bombs or bath washes show that this actually works and that I love your products and all of my stuff and i would love to share it with my audience on my youtube channel and post a few posts on instagram and instagram stories in your brand with my audience and then afterwards you can conclude or you can pitch in um, a few things that you're proud of that you've done already on your page so like your story views so you'll be like i have an average of 400 views on my story every single day I have engagement, uh, like a rating, so 3% engagement or 6% engagement. My followers on my social media platforms, I gain this amount of followers every week and your experience in the field. So for example, if you're a photographer, you'd be like, I like to take pictures of your products. Or if you're a vlogger, I like to take pictures of your products, videos using your products, self-care routines or whatever. And don't forget to leave your links for your platform so for your instagram your youtube your tiktok the links there so that they can click or easily click and look for your page to see your previous work so that's how i would pitch into the email so that the um brand can actually see the work i've done previously on my page and see if i'm a potential and that they would like to work with and then once you're done with pitching in you then send the email and wait for response. Whilst you're waiting for response, continue to create content, continue to hit up other brands to see 
if they would also like to work with you because maybe one out of the 10 brands you've hit up will then want to work with you so make sure to pitch in emails to many people and also when you're working with with brands or you want to you want brands to approach you make sure to produce content that they would want to use on their own platforms because at the end of the day it's about you and the brand working together and once you start off with that then get comfortable with negotiating about prizes when you're creating the content and all of that good stuff and it'll work with you so i will most probably do a part two on this video explaining how to then negotiate and all of that stuff when it comes to working with brands and yeah thank you so much for watching today's video make sure to like comment share and subscribe comment down below a camera a vlogging camera um emoji in the comment section and yeah make sure to like comment share and subscribe road to two thousand subscribers and i'm excited to bring more bangers on the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video god bless you bye i want you to know how i feel